Here we have a molecule of acetone. Let's try drawing another resonance structure of acetone. Well, let's take this pi bond and move it up onto the oxygen. So this pi bond is going to disappear, and instead we're going to take those two electrons and make them into a lone pair, a third lone pair on this oxygen. Now remember, the most important point is the charges. Well, you can see that the electrons are moving away from this bottom carbon, so the carbon must be becoming more positive. There's now a positive charge on this carbon, and the electrons are moving towards the oxygen. So this oxygen has become more negative. Now, which of these two um, resonance structures is going to be more significant? Well, there's a couple things that we can look at here. First of all, notice that in this picture there's no charges, and in this picture there's two charges. Well, are charges good or bad? It's crucial to understand that nature doesn't like charges. A molecule with charges is going to be less stable and less happy than a molecule without charges. Um, so that would indicate that this is the more significant resonance structure. Um, the fewer charges you have, the more significant you tend to be. Another problem with this resonance structure is that this carbon here does not have a complete octet anymore. If you actually count around the carbon, this carbon now only has six electrons around it. Two from each sigma bond. So this carbon only has a sextet, not an octet. Well, we know that, generally speaking, atoms prefer to have octets. So that also tends to make this a less significant resonance structure. Now, again, that doesn't mean that it's totally insignificant. This is actually quite important. It's very important in understanding the characteristics of this molecule to draw this resonance structure. So when we say that this is less significant than the picture on the left, we don't mean that it's totally insignificant. This actually um, is significant, just not as significant as this molecule on the left. So now we've seen a few of the different rules for determining which resonance structures are more significant. Um, so the rules are you'd like to avoid having charges. Resonance structures with fewer charges tend to be more significant. Um, if you have to have charges, it's better to have the charge on the more electronegative atom, the atom that's further to the right in the periodic table. So we saw that example here. Um, in this example, here we have a negative charge on the oxygen that's more significant than putting the negative charge on the carbon. And also we've seen that um, uh, a resonance structure with an incomplete octet is less significant. Now notice it's, um, it's legal to have an incomplete octet, it just gives you less significance. Remember on the other side, remember that we saw that it's just invalid to have more than eight electrons. You just can't draw a resonance structure with an element that has more than eight electrons. There actually are a couple of exceptions to that, but we're not going to be covering those at this point in the videos. So for all the uh, standard examples of resonance that you're going to see, it's just illegal and invalid to have an atom with more than eight electrons. It's okay to have an atom with fewer than eight electrons. That's legal, although it does tend to make that resonance structure less significant than a resonance structure with a full octet. So resonance structures with incomplete octets tend to be less significant. But resonance structures um, that have more than eight electrons are just illegal and invalid. By the way, in this picture, I took the pi bond and I moved it up onto the oxygen. But it also seems like it would be legal to take this pi bond and move it down onto the carbon. That would also be a legal move. What would the resonance structure look like then? Well, we're going to erase the pi bond, and we're going to move those electrons into a lone pair on the carbon. Well, the carbon is gaining electrons here, so it would have a negative charge. And the oxygen is losing the electrons in the pi bond. So the oxygen would have a positive charge. So this is another legal resonance structure. This is legal. Um, we haven't broken any of the rules. However, this is so insignificant that it's not worth drawing. This picture is going to be so insignificant and have so little weight in determining the characteristics of acetone that it's not worth drawing. 
Um, what's wrong with it? Well, of course, we have an incomplete octet on this oxygen. Here we have an incomplete octet. But we've seen that just because you have an incomplete octet, that by itself wouldn't make the molecule totally insignificant. This molecule, uh, this resonance structure also had an incomplete octet, but it was still significant enough to be worth counting. Um, so what's so terrible about this? Well, notice that here we're putting the negative charge on the less electronegative atom, the carbon. And we're putting a positive charge on the more electronegative atom. Well, that is going to be a highly unstable and unfavorable situation. It's much better to put the negative charge on the oxygen and the positive charge on the carbon because we know that the oxygen is much more eager to gain electrons than the carbon. Um, so again, this picture here is legal. It's valid, um, but it's so insignificant that there's no point drawing it when you write out the resonance structures. This is just going to mislead you about the characteristics of the molecule. Um, even though there's a negative charge on the carbon in this picture, um, this gets such a little, such a small weight um, that there really is hardly any negative charge at all on the uh, on the carbon. Uh, instead, when you're thinking about the carbon, you should think that it's a kind of blend of this carbon with zero formal charge and this carbon with a positive formal charge. There's no point to confusing ourselves with this picture over here because it's so insignificant. So again, it's important to distinguish between the resonance um, structures that are illegal and the ones that are just less significant. This is legal, um, but it is um, less significant than the other resonance structures. In fact, um, it's so insignificant that it's not worth drawing. On the other hand, this resonance structure um, is less significant than this one over here because it has charges and an incomplete octet, um, but it still is worth drawing. It still has enough weight to be worth drawing because it's putting the charges on the atoms that are happier to have them. This oxygen is happier to have the negative, and the carbon is happier to have the positive.